The Emirates FA Cup has a new home and it is right here on Optus Sport. We've secured the exclusive rights to the world's longest running national knockout football cup competition. The Emirates FA Cup kicking off in November all the way to the final at Wembley in May 2025. And that also includes the FA Community Shield, which will be at Wembley, Manchester City taking on Manchester United as a curtain raiser in August. Fantastic news. What a competition, the FA Cup. Absolutely buzzing with that news, Claude. You've been hiding that from us. Yeah, and that's no. been my secret. You, you, knew, you knew I was hiding something from I, you. That's I what it was. We're going to get rid of Swartzy. I thought, we were losing, get, like, I thought he was getting terminated, but that is, <laughs> that news. is massive news. Yeah. I mean, as a child growing up, that's all I want to do, play in the FA Cup, become a professional footballer. But the childhood memories of watching mm. football when it was you were able to access it, I couldn't watch league games. So on a weekend, I sit there with my dad and watch the FA Cup matches on TV. I'm buzzing. I'm, I'm so happy for all the Aussie viewers as well in this country. It's going to be huge. It's huge. And of course, uh, the season starts a little early with the Community Shield as well in Manchester Derby, Tommy. Absolutely. And you know, obviously, Manchester City will have a bone to pick with Manchester United in that one, obviously having lost the, the final last year. So it'll yeah. be interesting. Now, it is a huge competition that's shaped the love of football for a lot of Australians as well. Once upon a time when the FA Cup was, was all they could get on live television, and so a lot of people pick their football clubs thanks to the Emirates FA Cup. Let's go to a man who has 47 appearances in the FA Cup. Schwartzy, how excited are you, mate? Very excited. Yeah, I just like echoing what Bridgie said, you know, as a kid growing up, uh, you mentioned it there. The only thing we ever got to watch from uh, overseas was the FA Cup final. I mean, it was religious every year. I've been very fortunate to have been uh, involved in, in quite a number of games, got to the semi-final, um, been to a number of finals, mostly post, post my career, to finals, to watch, to work at. It's an amazing competition, absolutely love it. And I can actually remember my very first FA Cup game away to Wickham Wanderers, playing for Bradford City. Bridgie, can you remember uh, which is your first game? Because, I mean, you've had about 50 clubs. I don't think you can, can you? <laughs> That's why I'm struggling, Swartzy. I'm getting too old to remember. The only thing I'm gutted about my career for that mistake was not doing so well in the FA Cup. We had great Champions League runs, great UEFA Cup. I never had a good FA Cup run, mate. So you've got, you've got massive kudos and bonus points on top of me for what you did in the FA Cup. And like you say, I think for a lot of Australian uh, people that I've spoke to when I came over here, they did pick their clubs off watching the FA Cup games in Australia. So it's huge news for Australia and great for Optus Sport. Did you enjoy that? There's so much more. So why not hit subscribe and download the Optus Sport app.